Perseverance has emerged from two weeks of radio silence imposed by solar conjunction. Now we can see how its long-term parking has upset the delicate balance between Martian winds and surface materials on this episode of Mars Guy. This week we learned that Perseverance survived the communications moratorium while it slipped behind the sun relative to the view from Earth, but it had been preloaded with commands that included watching for changes produced by wind. Wind is a significant agent of change on Mars despite an atmospheric pressure less than 1% of Earth's. The feeble winds can still pile sand into dunes that move enough over the course of years to be seen from orbit. And over thousands to millions of years, wind-driven sand grains can slowly erode rocks into streamlined landforms known as yardangs and also create the strangely shaped rocks regularly encountered by Perseverance. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance arrived at this location on Sol 960, the 1st of November, to investigate the three different geologic terrain units found in the area. With solar conjunction imminent, the science team chose to do what previous rover missions have done before during this period, watch for small wind-driven changes. These change detection experiments are easy to do, just point a camera at the same spot on the ground and take pictures for a couple of weeks to see what happens. This is the spot that Perseverance watched. The thin layer of sand on top of bedrock is a good place to look given that it's more likely to show changes in a shorter time than with rocks. And sure enough, changes occurred sometime between 3.30 p.m. of the first sol of the experiment and 3.30 p.m. on the next sol. Wind blew sand grains across the site, maybe from underneath the rover, leaving pockmarks in the sand layer. Larger grains were pushed short distances, generally toward the upper right in this scene, revealing the direction of the wind from the bottom left which is where the rover is. Other grains appear out of nowhere, so apparently blown in from farther away, like these two whitish grains, which may have come from a portion of bedrock that was scraped by the rover's wheels. Elsewhere, wind action appears to have removed material, like here where a relatively dark surface got lighter, probably from the removal of dark-toned sand. By 3.30 p.m. on the third sol of the experiment, nothing happened, or almost nothing. Something happened in this spot and this one, but I'm not quite sure what. It's an example of the incredibly subtle changes that are possible. The action resumed on the next sol, and note that's a geologist's definition of action. Some of the pockmarks are removed and new ones appear. Of course, sand grains roll to the upper right, consistent with the previous examples that suggest wind coming from the lower left, probably made more turbulent through interaction with perseverance. And here the wind is removing material, but this time a more substantial volume than in the previous example. Perseverance has continued its monitoring campaign even after the end of solar conjunction, documenting the tiny changes that are probably enhanced as it disrupts the flow of Martian wind just by its presence. <laughs>